I'm bitched up by a drip when I walk. I'm bringing pressure around when I walk. I kick the bitch out of the G total walk. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Rachel. If you're not new, thank you so much for coming back to watch another one of my videos. So if this is your first time watching this lovely woman right here, then make sure you subscribe to my channel to get to see more of this lovely woman. As you guys can tell by today's title, we're gonna be doing a full week of workout. I've been planning to do this video for a while now, but I just haven't gotten the time to you. But I'm um, I finally got the time and I was like, let me do this today. So I work out four days a week. This is gonna be a four day uh, workout split. I'm gonna make sure to put all of the workouts on the screen and also down below in the description if you'd like to check them out. I train mostly lower body cause I don't think I need to train my upper body that much. I'm naturally masculine in my upper body. So I'm trying to like improve on my uh, lower body, yeah. But I still do include like upper body workouts because I want to uh, build strength in my upper body, I guess. Disclaimer, I'm not your personal trainer. I am not certified personal trainer. This is just what I've learned from watching TikTok, YouTube, and from when I used to run track. Don't quote me on anything that I say. But you can take me as your virtual bestie, virtual gym bestie. Consider me your virtual gym bestie rather than personal trainer, okay? Anyways, uh, enough with me talking. Let's go ahead and get on with these workouts. Uh, I was gonna say, I'm gonna make sure to list all of the items that I'm wearing down below because most of my gym items are from Amazon and I only have like, I only have like uh, maybe two, three gym shark workout clothes and I got them from Facebook. Okay, let's go. Gotta wear my glasses cause the girl can't see. <sighs> These glasses are so ugly. All right guys, so we're starting off strong. This is a Monday, it's a leg day, and uh, bear with me on these voiceovers. I'm not really good at these voiceovers. Anyways, uh, we're doing this dynamic stretching. I always make sure to stretch before my workout. This is gonna help with uh, mobility. It's gonna help with blood circulation, and you're also not gonna injure yourself while doing those workouts. So make sure you're doing a lot of stretchings. I do a lot of stretchings depending on what I'm working on on that day. Anyway, so we're moving on to our first exercise. I'm doing calf raises. Always start off with a barbell by itself and then increase your weight as you go. And all I'm doing here is just stepping on my toe and slowly coming back on my heels. And I add weight as I progress. So make sure you're adding weight and go slow and controlled because it's all about muscle mind connection here. All right, right after calf raises, I go into front squats. I always start off with the barbell and then increase my weight as I go. All right, here is my starting position, starting up straight, strong elbows up front and just going down slow and coming back up slowly. And add your weight as you go through. I added in a 15 pound plate and then later added a five, focusing on my form and just going down slowly, taking deep breath in. Right after that, we're jumping onto legs extension. With my legs extension, I usually do single legs extension first and then uh, superset it with both legs, slow and controlled, and also keeping a pause at the middle. Like when you come back up, right there, pause for a few seconds and then go down. All right, you guys, we're almost done with this leg day. Uh, here I'm doing leg curls. You can either do this on the seated leg curl machine or the line leg curl, which is what I'm doing. And also increase your weight. Always, always increase your weight as you go up. 
and you're gonna see me a lot with my socks I like working out in my socks it's just more comfortable that way all right you guys we're almost done with this leg day we're doing our double walking lunges these really put a lot of emphasis on the quads if you want to see quad gains make sure you're incorporating these into your workouts and as you can see I'm not going in a straight line I'm putting uh, my legs outward and also leaning forward All right, do you guys see my facial expressions here? This is how bad this exercise hurt, but it's good. I like the pain, you know, you're not going to see gains without pain. So this should be your face at the end of that workout, but you're going to see the gains. Okay. It's all going to pay off. And here is a little quad pump at the end. As you can see, there is quads there. We're working with something, but we're not where we want to be yet. So that's why we're going to keep going and going until we're where we want to be. And to finish off with that leg day, I usually go for a 10 minute walk around the track to just relax my muscle and to help with our muscle recovery. So, we're finishing up the work out with uh, just a 10 minute walk around the track. all right you guys we've made it through day one now we are on to day two which is back in biceps this is not my favorite day but i have to keep going okay we're starting off with our stretchings there's uh bend things i don't even know what they're called but i was just doing what i felt like doing on this day i really regretted going to the gym at this time it was really packed and i really wanted to leave but i was like you know what i belong here i'm not leaving okay i'm not leaving so we started off with uh, dead hangs this is to help me do my pull-ups i've set a goal for myself to be able to do pull-ups this year and i've been working towards that i do assisted pull-ups with the band i put one on my leg in and then just pull myself up and, and also I put a dumbbell down there so i can reach because i'm short okay and this really looks really embarrassing in the gym but nobody's really watching you nobody's watching so do your thing okay moving on we're doing these uh bend over rows with these i used the 15 pound dumbbell and then i moved up to 20 pound dumbbells and i did four sets of eight in total right after that i go in with seated rows and doing four sets of eight just like the previous workout and you're trying to keep your back straight and not leaning forward as you pull in the weight you try to bring like chest forward right there pulling in your chest as you bring in the weight after this day i learned my lesson to not ever go to the gym past 5 p.m okay but we're moving on to wide grip pull down these uh, i've come to love these i don't know why they make my back look so nice and i'm doing four sets of eight keeping my back straight and also pulling out my chest as i pull the weight in right there pull my chest up and keeping a straight back all right you guys you've made it to the end of this workout we're doing barbell rows starting in a hinge position pulling up the weight to our belly button and pushing back our elbows as we do it all right you guys we're on to day three only one more day to go you've made it this far only one more day to go you got this we're doing glute today this is my favorite day of the week and as always i always start off with my uh stretchings at the beginning of the workout these leg swings i leave by these i do this almost every day okay on this day i do a lot of uh, different stretching before my workouts and it takes me about like a good 10 minutes so you want to make sure you're getting in your stretching before your workout guys this is gonna help with your mobility and it's gonna help you lift even more weight
all right you guys so starting off strong on this good day we're starting off with hip thrust with my hip thrust i do seven regular hip thrusts with a little pause at the top and then i go in with uh seven pulses and then hold for seven seconds i repeat that four times and that is all that i do and this is gonna really focus on your glute gains and you're really going to feel the pain i got this tip from tiktok girlies and let me just tell you it works like you will see the results and at the end you're gonna be dying as always make sure we're adding up our weight as the reps increase if you can do up to eight reps of the exercise then you need to add in more weight and i started off with a 25 pound plate and then added in a 15 pound doing this hip thrust here took me a while because the chair kept pulling back it kept going back and i was just having a difficult time So here I'm just making sure the bench won't slide back when I'm doing my hip thrust because that's what he had been doing for the first rep and it was just getting on my nerves. So I had to put some weights behind the bench and stuff. It took a lot of time but I finally got it. Alright, getting back to work. This is our second set of hip thrusts. We've added a 15 pound plate. We're going back up uh, slowly and controlled with a full range of motion. And with your knees, you want to make sure they're having a 90 degree angle when you come down there. And also your legs, you want to have your uh, feet slightly pointed outward. That's going to target your glute more. There is my pause right there. Seven seconds pause after your pulses. And you should feel the pain. all right so on this day i was feeling a little too bold and i wanted to try something new and challenge myself and i was like why not try the hack squat i've been trying to do this for a long time and when i finished my uh, my uh, hip thrust it was empty and i was like this is the perfect time so let's go ahead and do this i was really debating whether i should do it or not but i was like what do i have to lose let's just go ahead and try it so here is me trying it up okay so after doing a few reps of hack squats and actually getting comfortable on the machine i was like this is kind of easy i can do this and i can actually do this with more weight so i was like let's try something new let's try adding in a plate i went and grabbed a 25 pound plate just to try it out okay so i did about eight reps of the 25 pound plate and i was like i can do more you know i can do more so we added more weight but like if my facial expression does not tell you how hard this machine is i don't know what else will you see so with that being said you never know what you're capable of doing until you actually do it okay push yourself out there you can do more than you think you can
All right, you guys, that was an interesting moment right there on the hack squat. Anyways, we're moving on to the next exercise. We're doing a superset here. We're doing a beast and RDLs, and then we're gonna move on to double, just a regular RDLs. We're doing four sets of single leg RDLs, and then moving on to regular RDLs with the 30 pound dumbbells. Next on my list was uh, Bulgarian split squats and I've been seeing this trick on TikTok where the girls rotate at the end and I was like let me try it. So I did that. This day was just a full day of discovery, just new, discovering new things. I did that for a couple reps, I was like let me go to what I know. So I did the regular uh, Bulgarian split squats, full sets of 8. All right, you guys, you've made it to the end of today's workout. Finishing up today's workout, we are doing a glute medius kickback. As you can see, I'm just slowly kicking my leg back at a 45 degree angle. And when I'm kicking back, I'm making sure to uh, extend out my uh, toes outward and also place my uh, hand on my hip so I can feel the stretch as I'm doing the exercise. All right, you guys, you've made it to the end of this week's workout. Now, this day is supposed to be a full body day, but it ended up being mostly lower body. I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> don't ask me why. Anyways, I started off with these side to sides with my uh, band to kind of like uh, stretch out my hips and get my hips ready for these exercises that I'm about to do. I also did other dynamic stretches. I just didn't film them. And uh, starting off with my first exercise of the day, we're doing deadlift. We love these. I'm trying to improve on my deadlift and try to add more weight. These target almost a lot of parts of your body. They target the hamstring, the quads, the back, the arms, everything. So I guess you can call it a full body day, okay? And I was adding up my weight as I went by. I started off with 25, 15, 10, and then another 10. Moving on, we're doing leg press. Starting with just the machine by itself, I did a 45, another 45, and then a 25 on top that I finished with. Right after leg press, I moved on to hip abductors. I haven't done this in a while, and as you can as you can already tell, I have hip dips, and I'm trying to like minimize the look of it. I understand that you cannot get rid of hip dips, but you can work around the muscle around the hip dips, which is why I'm incorporating these uh, hip exercises to help with that. Okay. All right, you guys, we're almost done with day four. I'm moving on to step ups. This is going to target your glutes and I'm making sure to lean forward as I go down and going slow and controlled during every rep. Now, usually on this day, I like finishing up the day with some core exercises to work my abs, but I was not feeling that today. So I just did uh, three sets of 10 push-ups and that was the end of my workouts for day four. So that pretty much wraps up this week's workout. Hopefully you guys enjoyed tagging along with me throughout this week. And let me know what you think about this video and what you'd like to see next. Also leave any comments and suggestions down below. I'm always open to suggestions. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. And I'm proud that I'm still getting bigger. Going viral is getting them sicker. Like what? Let's keep it a bug. It's too boring, I'm stuck in a rut. Never get me wrong when I have a chug. Pretty bitch like Lauren with a big ass butt. Yup. Yeah.